Is it harder to take over a line with a bunch of new faces that you're not familiar with or to take a guy like a Thomas or an Ogden and help him get over that last hump to get All-America honors and awards? <laughs> From a teaching standpoint, which is more difficult? Well, I'll tell you, it's, uh, uh, it's not difficult coaching a guy like Joe Thomas. I mean, he's a, he's a great player. He's a great athlete. He's a 3.5 student. Uh, he's intelligent. I mean, he can do anything that you, that you want him to do. So, I mean... Uh, but uh, my challenge with him, okay, Joe, you are great, but can you, do you want, can you be the best? And what can I do to help you be the very, very best? You know, whereas you take another young kid, well, we got to go step one here first. We got to see if we can uh, get you to position, into a position where you can uh, be productive on the football field, whether as a backup or as a starter. And then we'll work on being all conference, and then we'll work on being all American, and then from there, we'll see if we can get you to win the Heisman Trophy. <laughs> you, some offensive line coaches talk about wanting just the biggest, strongest guys possible. Others have said, maybe slim them down a little bit. I want quickness and athleticism. Do you have a preference in those trademarks? Well, you obviously would like a combination of both, but if I have my choice, I, I like the athletic guys. I like the athletic guys. Uh, uh, guys, they're you know six foot four, six five, weigh three hundred and ten, and can have can, uh, have foot quickness and, and uh, 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 great agility and so on. Coaches and players often say that the offensive line, as much as any group on the field, relies on the timing and the chemistry and the cohesion. Getting used to the guy on either side of you. How uh, how do you go about building that in such a short period of time as you start working with them for the first time this spring? Well. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell those kids when I go into my first meeting, I'm going to say offensive line is like your hand, okay? You have five fingers and there's five offensive linemen. And individually, you're very weak. You're nothing. You could break a finger off your hand and you're nothing. But together, together, you form that fist. And that's when you're, at, that's when you're strongest. So it's all of us working together, communicating together. Being unselfish, not caring who gets the credit, but caring that we get our job done so that we can win football games. A lot of times you'll see players, and they're sometimes identified as you can tell that a player played for a certain coach or a group of players looks like, you know, those running backs played for this coach or those linebackers played for that coach. Is there a, a signature or a, a characteristic that is consistent throughout Bob Palsic coached offensive lines? I would have to say no. And uh, uh, I, you can tell if players are well coached, but there are a lot of great coaches in this country. And uh, a lot of them were very instrumental in helping me in my career. And so I can't say, well, this guy played for Jim McNally and this guy played for Howard Mudd or, or this guy played for uh, whoever. You know, if they're, if they're, you can, they're, but they're all well coached, but I don't think there's that much difference between them. Are those the guys that you draw on the most? or that Well, they're, 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 they're an awful lot of guys. Tom Bresnahan, who was the coach of the Buffalo Bills when they went to four Super Bowls. Uh, Jim McNally uh, is always considered one of the best coaches in the country, and I've known him for years and still talk to him on a regular basis. And, uh, Howard Mudd, uh, I've, spent a lot of, I've spent a lot of time with him. Bill Callahan over the Dallas Cowboys is a good friend of mine. He was at the University of Wisconsin uh, a few years before I got there. And he got there a few years after I was there the first time. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so there are a lot of great coaches in this country. In the Coach Jones said on signing day that one or two of the offensive linemen coming in this year may have to play right away. Would you prefer, in an ideal situation, to redshirt every freshman you ever get? Or could you, do you sometimes have freshmen who are so talented, talented that they deserve to be on the field? So let's get them out there from day one. I think that's uh, exactly right. Um, I don't want to play a kid unless he's ready. And uh, but like you said, some kids are. Jonathan Ogden started uh, the fifth game. He didn't start the first game of his freshman year. He, it took him about about five games. Gabe Green, he didn't. I redshirted him his freshman year. He didn't. He didn't play at all. And uh, and Joe Thomas uh, didn't play uh, until about midway of his freshman year. So uh, it's tough to walk right in there and start your first game. I had a couple kids at. Uh, UCLA, a young man named Xavier Suofio, who started every game for me as a freshman. 
but I wish I didn't have to. It was out of necessity uh, that, that I did that. But, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't want to put a kid in that field until I feel he can be productive and, and, and help us win. And uh, we'll just take one step at a time here. I have to get familiar with these kids. I, I've watched them all on film along with the kids that are coming in. I think they recruited a, 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 talented, a talented young group of, of men that are going to be starting here this next fall. But let's face it now, there's a big jump from high school to college. And it's, a, and it's just as big as it is from going from college to the National Football League. You know, let's not uh, put, uh, get, get, too, get their expectations or, uh, too high, too quick. Let's just take one day at a time. Let's work on our fundamentals. Let's get uh, acclimated to college football and college life and, and everything else will take care of itself.